All right, so now that we have a little time today, I can actually show you guys what the liner looks like. So this, this is what the liner looks like before we wet it out. This is it. You got your fabric, which the resin will coat. Then you got the plastic to cover the bladder. This is the bladder. And then you got the cow tube, which the air, and we call a pull end, goes into. Basically, before you wet anything out, we gotta dig the clean out out, which we already did. And we've already jetted this line. We wanna get the line as smooth as possible for the liner. When we're all done, we just air it up. Before we air it up, we have to wet this out with resin. And each one of these is a cutout for the fittings. But you can't line over the fittings or none of your fixtures will drain. We pull the farthest toilet and then we pull from there by hand with a string from one end to the other. Basically, you put this in the center of the cow tube. Like so. Basically, what I do is I push it all to one side. Use my knee. Fold it over. Hold that there. Tape it up. Just like that until you get to the end. You can kind of feel it in the, the bladder. Keep going. About right there. I'm gonna work my way back up. That's basically what it looks like for the pull end. Clamps. This is basically gonna make it airtight. Basically when we're hammering it, we're putting a little notch inside so that these don't come loose. Then you tape those over so you don't scratch the plastic or nothing. Just like that. When we fill up this cow tube, we gotta first cut a hole in it so it can expand. All done on the pole end. And same thing goes for the air end. Basically what we're doing now, we're gonna tie a rope to this. So we gotta take the bladder out before we put the resin in. Once we get the bladder out, this rope will stay in so we can fish it back in after this is all wetted out with resin. Then we fold this so no resin leaks out. Just like so. There she is. And that's how you put in a liner. And the rest of the day is sitting around for five hours till it dries. Now we just wait to see the end results. Now we're deflating. That's what it looks like. Hard as rock.